Layers are essential for drawing management. So anybody new to layers, the, the analogy that's always given is that what you do is you separate different elements of your drawing and put those different elements on different sheets of say clear acetate so that if someone's looking at the drawing, say someone's looking at this drawing, one element of this drawing is that it be the dimensions. Now if you were showing it to someone they didn't need to see the dimensions, you just pull that sheet of acetate out. If they did need to see it, you just slide it back in again. That's layers. So to create layers, you go to Tools, Palettes, Design Director. So here's a Design Director. You can make this bigger or smaller. You can drag this out into the drawing area and here make it bigger or smaller whatever so let's make it a bit smaller and stick it out there i can drag this in a bit more as well oh no of course not. let's have a look what can i do with this oh yes there we go i can drag that over to there and therefore make this a bit smaller okay so you can mess about with it now we can see here it's got zero that's the default layer in this column it's ticked which means anything we draw will be on that layer the little eye says it's visible we can see it all and this column here says we can work on it if I click onto that I put a lock on it and if I go now to try and select this layer we get an annoying pinging noise it means we can't do it because it's locked so I take that lock off so the elements of this drawing as I said three Dimensions, so let's create a layer for dimensions. Up here, this icon says new layer. Click onto that, give it a name. It's, I'll just call it dims. Okay. We've got the main building, so click on that. I'll say main building. Okay. And then we've got some things outside in the garden. Uh, I'll just call it outside. Normally called outside arrangement, but I'll just call it outside. Now, I can now put these different things on these different layers. So this outside arrangement, the easiest thing to do there would be to select them all like that. Take my finger off, they're all selected. At the moment, up the top here, it tells me all about it. It tells me on there on the default zero layer that's drawn in black. It's a continuous line. It's a default line thickness or what line width. There's no special instructions and they've not got not any fill. Down the bottom here, it tells me the scale is one. Sure is. I haven't changed it. So it tells me the X and Y uh, scale. It tells me the position on the paper and deltas if I want to move it and rotation is if I want to rotate it. So I've selected it and I've got all this information. But all I need to do here is to put it onto the outside layer so in that box there I click left click and now it's on the outside layer and it says outside up here and if I now turn off the visibility you'll see it disappears so next I'm going to select everything in the building the wall the main building that looks like the main building but it looks like I've picked up the dimensions here as well so what should I do? This is another I'll show you another way around. I could have obviously just uh deselected the dimensions, but I could select all the dimensions first. So if I go to edit, select by entity type. So anything you're gonna select in your drawing that there's loads and loads of, say you wanted to select all the circles, this is the way you do it. Here I'm selecting all of the linear oops sorry linear dimensions dimensions linear okay that's selected all the linear dimensions on the dims layer I click up here they're all on the dims layer now I wanted to select the wall now remember when I tried to select it before I was picking up other things so if I clicked on the outside to make those invisible and clicked on the dims to make those invisible now I've only got the wall, I can just do Control A, I've featured all those, put it on that layer. 
Okay, so that's one of the useful things with a layout. If you're trying to select stuff and it's getting a bit confusing because maybe your drawing's very complicated, turn the things off in the, in the uh, layers menu. Now, some people will tell you you're supposed to write all these down, uh, create these layers first. Personally, I get going with the drawing and then create some layers. I also am very careful to make sure each layer here says exactly what it is. I do get drawings in from people sometimes and they've given their layers all sorts of names, you know, M26 stroke 25. I don't know what that is. And if there's 60 layers on a drawing, it just makes it ridiculously impossible to start reading and editing or something. I just send them back. I don't want to be, I'm not interested. I'd make your layers really clear. So let's say, for example, now I want to add another layer. Maybe I want to put some furniture inside. So let's say I'm going to put some, uh, these are stools hanging around inside. So now I want some uh, a layer for the internal stuff. Now, as I've drawn those, we can see up here, I've, they've drawn on the, on the zero default layer. So I'm going to create a new layer. Uh, which I'm going to call inside and say OK and then I'm going to select those and click inside okay so you can create extra layers as you go on you can create a few at the beginning and add to them if you want to get rid of any layers while they're selected you've got a little red cross up here it says delete layer Now, say I want to, at the moment, I seem to be drawing on the inside. So let's say I'm going to put a round table inside. If I right click and choose my circle. Now, as soon as I've changed my tool here, you'll notice over here, look, I've gone back to the default layer. So if I draw now, it'll be on the default layer. So I have to click the inside layer and then put it on the inside. So a general rule is choose your tool then choose your layer. If for any reason you draw something that's on the wrong layer, it's no great problem. You just select the object and select the layer it's going on to. Dragging symbols in will automatically go on the default layer. And um, so keep an eye on those sort of things. Anything you bring in, just have a look, make sure, see what layer it's moved on to. Now, one other thing is we can uh, make layers, we can customize layers. So we can say all the lines on that layer are going to be dashed or a certain thickness or whatever it is. So you can see if we open this up, look, we've got the color of the layer, the line styles, the pen width. So any of these, if we click on to, this comes down here. So we can specify things for certain layers. So let's just say, for example, we're going to have an electrics layer and we want those lines to be red so they're easily visible. So I'd create a new layer. It's supposed to be electric. So there's my electrics layer. Now, what I'm going to do with the electrics layer is I'm going to draw my wiring so if I just draw it like that it's in black now what about if I want all my wiring in red so what I'm going to do here is here's my electric layer I'm going to click onto this box I'm going to choose it red orange now if I then draw electrics I'm thinking oh it's going to be red orange but it's not There's one extra thing you have to do. So electric, I'm going to choose that layer. Up here it says it's red. I'm going to choose it all. The layers jumps back, choose a layer. Up here it says electric, red. But here it says black. So I've got to open this up. And this one here, by layer. So it's what it's saying is the color of this line is determined by the color of the layer and the color of the layer over here is red. So layer. Now when I draw on the electric layer, 
it's in red. If I go back to my inside layer and put another little table in there, it's getting crowded, it's black. Okay. If I click onto my electrics layer and now think, right, now I want to put another wire in, right click, go to polyline and put my other line in, it's red. Okay. That's all there is to layers. They are important. One last thing is that when we put this drawing on paper space to print it out, to give to people maybe, or put in a publication, we can turn on and off the layers in on the print, on the paper. So when it comes to work, go into paper space and printing things, we can turn the layers on or off on the paper as well. Okay, I think that's it.